Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to show you the Path to the Dragon Throne mod today by Lazy Neath. This mod is an expansion of Lazy Neath's royalty mod and Lazy Neath was also very, very kind to give me extra early access so I could show this to you all. As of me filming this, it is planned to come out for early access on April 30th. However, that might change so I will keep all the updated information in the video description below. So to download this mod, I will put instructions below, but there are some requirements when downloading this mod. Make sure you download all the requirements, otherwise it's not going to work properly. You need to make sure you have an updated version of the royalty mod. Make sure to have the XML injector. And there's two other files that I will list below, but just make sure you have all of them. If you don't know how to download mods, I will link a video tutorial below. So this mod is very heavily narrative driven, and it is a scenario, which is very cool. So you can expect a lot of story, a lot of character descriptions and development and just a whole bunch of background information. So when you are on the home screen, you are going to click play scenario and then you see this path to the dragon throne. So it says from the silence of the nunnery to the heart of the empire, Wu Zietian emerges to claim her place in history. Path to the dragon throne beckons a story of ambition, strategy and the unyielding rise of an empress. So we're going to go ahead and play now. You can decide if you want it to be a new household, an existing household, or a new household and a new save. I'm going to make a new household in a new save. So I went ahead and made some sims so I could show you all this mod. If you are looking for Chinese inspired CC, historic Chinese royal CC, I do have a Pinterest board with all of my custom content. It's got a lot of just royal stuff in general, but I will be making a section for historic royal Chinese CC. So you will see this little checklist on the side. So it says Wu Jietian must be an adult, the emperor must be a young adult, and the empress must be a young adult. So make sure sure you meet all of these requirements but as you can see so this is Wu Ziatan she is the adult she's going to be would be the main character essentially we're following her rise to become empress this is the emperor and this is the empress which is his wife so once you have met these requirements you are going to click the check mark say okay okay so we are now in live mode I have downloaded this palace from the gallery I'm also going to link some mods below how to make your game feel more historic so there's no cars no like modern buildings um there's some that make them not go on their phone or they replace it with like a book or something like that so i'll link that all below if you want that really historic experience as you can see we have sims who don't quite match the aesthetic here oh hello did y'all just see woozia ted and the Emperor just had their first kiss okay all right we'll get to that in a second but yeah anyway so you guys will see that they're like we have angela pleasant here um so if you want to have your game feel more like everyone matches the aesthetic, you will kind of have to make some sims and have them dress up in, in what you want them to be. There are some mods that also allow sims to stay in the world that they live, so that could probably help if you don't want to remake Tauties for like every single world. All right, so when you enter here, you will see this goal sheet, <laughs> this little goal tab on the left. So it says gain political knowledge skill to level two, build a network of five sims and gain the emperor's favor. So I'm not going to show you the whole mod because I do want to have a mini series where I will be playing like the ancestors of my Guangxi kingdom, which is part of my main royal family series, which I will also link below. But I want to make sure I get my two mini series done first and those will be done in the summer. So that's probably when this history of Guangxi mini series will come out. And I'm going to use the mod for that. So I won't show you everything. I don't want to spoil it, especially if you want to play on your own. So you are going to want to do this from Wu Ziatian's point of view. Um, so she needs to gain the emperor's favor and it says run friendly or funny socials on the emperor to increase your relationship with him. So we are going to do that. So friendly interest, describe new idea. So you want, oh, hello, okay. So this is the first pop-up you should get when you get into live mode. So in the tranquil cloisters of the Ganya temple, Wu's story takes an unforeseen turn. Once a favored consort, she faced the seclusion of nunnery life after the Emperor's passing. 
but fate, ever unpredictable, has woven her a new path. A clandestine tryst with the crown prince has rekindled her destiny. Whispers of her return ripple through the court as she steps back into the palace, not as a mere shadow of the past, but as a harbinger of a new era. The game of power resumes and the throne beckons once more. So again, very narrative and story driven, which is great if you love that kind of thing for The Sims. If you feel like you're getting a little bored, this is very story heavy and will help guide you. So we're going to try to gain the Emperor's favor. She's doing some friendly, funny social interactions. Her dress is not quite working right there. So let's see, funny. We'll do stories, tell a funny story. While she's trying to gain the Emperor's favor, I will also show you a few other things. So they will automatically get these traits when you load them in game. So Wu Ten, she has strategic mind. Sims with a strategic mind trait possess unparalleled ability to navigate the complexities of life with wisdom and foresight. They excel in crafting plans and strategies, often staying several steps ahead of their peers. This trait enhances their learning speed, decision-making, and social Social influence embodying the essence of legendary figures who shaped history through intellect and cunning. She will also have a concubine of the Emperor trait. I was gonna try to find another sim that I could show you all that, but this popped up, so she's gained the Emperor's favor. The Emperor's favor is a prize sought by many, but held by few, a testament to your unparalleled wit and wisdom. Your presence at court has become indispensable, your counsel valued above all others. This coveted position at the Emperor's side marks a significant milestone in your ascent, solidifying your status among the elite. For Wu Ziaten, it is pivotal triumph. It is a pivotal triumph, a step closer to destiny that will redefine the empire. Okay, and I don't think it's going to show up because she is already a concubine, but if you click on a sim that you want to make the concubine, make sure you're playing from the emperor. Click on them and go to titles, and then here you will see something that says like designate as concubine or something like that. Um, so that is a new feature that is added. I think it works great with this mod. And then if you designate someone as a concubine, they basically have a random, oh, they're watching TV. I didn't even realize that. Um, but they basically have a random role of, they can either gain the skill of dancing, flower arrangements, I think singing, um, and I think maybe an instrument is one too. So they will just be able to excel faster in that skill when you make them a concubine. And then we have gain political knowledge. So this can be gained by increasing the research and debate skill. So. It's historical, you're not going to want to probably do this um, with a TV. I don't know if there's a mod that can change the TV into something else, but basically, if you have a TV, you would go to Watch Channel and watch Politis, Politic, Politi Sim, <laughs> and then that would help you gain political knowledge. And then I think you can also debate against another sim to increase the knowledge. I think you can also get the debate podium. Um, I think it does actually say on here. So political skill is crucial when navigating co courtly life. You can build this skill by engaging in debates with other sims, attending public debates, or studying political books. All right, so I have gained her political knowledge to level two, and it says, with every secret uncovered, your alliance forged, your grasp of court politics tightens. You are no longer just a player in the game of power. You're becoming a master of it. This growth in political skill lights your path closer to the throne. A clear signal to all, a new strategist rises. And then another thing you'd have to do is build a network of five sims, discuss politics with nobles so you can assign nobles with using the title feature as well. So you have to play as the emperor or whoever the monarch is, go to titles and then you can give a noble title. And then if you have Uzia Ten discuss politics with that noble, then that can check mark on that on the list. There's just a bunch of goals and I think there's like three sort of sections to get through in the story. Again, I don't want to share everything because I don't want to spoil it for you guys, for myself, because I want this to be a mini series so we can have our royal historic drama mini series. But I did at least want to give you a peek of things, give you guys the information, how to download and all that stuff. 
when this is released, I will link the download link um, to the mod in the video description below. But that is all I'm going to show you for today. If you're excited and this was helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to check out my main royal family series, I have a Regency Royal series and then other mini series. And then I will be doing a history of Guangxi using this mod. That mini series should come out this summer. So if you're interested in all of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Thank you again, Lazy Neat, for letting me get super early access to this and for making this mod. We don't have anything like this and this is absolutely fantastic. So thank you so, so much. Let me know if you will be using this mod in the comments below and what you're most excited for about this mod. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.